Mudita don't endorse it and also it's all done at your own risk, that's important. Hello and welcome to Dumb Phones UK. My name's Joseph. I look at dumb or dumber devices on the UK market and it's a dumber device today. We're looking at the Mudita Compact and we are looking at sideloading this device. Whisper it quietly. Mudita don't endorse this, but also in their questionnaire they did ask whether you were going to sideload. So I feel like they understand people might be doing it. What this video is going to do for you lovely people is it's going to take you through a tutorial on how to sideload based on how I did it, any problems I encountered, any issues I faced, and anything that I found along the way. Before we hop into the video, please do like, please do subscribe. It means I can bring you more devices like this. So it'd be lovely if you could do that. It'd be very much appreciated by me. And other than that, I think we should just hop in because while we have some applications on this device that come out of the box, I do think there are, in today's world, there are applications that people might need. So I'd say, let's hop into the video. All we want to do is open up our control center and head into settings. Once we're in settings, we need to enable the developer options menu. This shows a hidden menu on your device to do that we need to go to the About section of the phone, which is right at the bottom here. And we click that. And then from within the About section, we need to tap Build Number seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's asked me to enter my passcode. So we're gonna come back out into our Settings menu and open up System. And within system, we are going to go to developer options, which is now available. We've made that available by clicking seven times. We can now see the white circle is on the right. So this is turned on, which is great news. So we can scroll through and there are lots of different settings that we can see within here. There we go. So I selected allow USB be debugging, I'm going to allow this. You can see that on the right here, I now have a dot on the right, which shows that it's turned on. Now I need to grab our cable so we connect this device up to a computer. So I am going to plug this in. We saw the device shake, which is great news. So it's now connected. And on my computer, we can see that the device has popped up, is we are going to navigate to this web ADB web page. Now, the reason I am doing it on web ADB and not the Mac terminal is because I don't know if everybody's using Mac, so I wanted to make sure that this is a site that everybody could use. I'm going to click Add, and we can see the Compact, and I'm gonna click Connect. So once I've clicked Connect, is asking me whether I want to allow it on the device. I'm going to allow it. And now they are synced up and connected. And I have downloaded an APK. So what I'm gonna do is click on the left here, install APK, open. In my downloads, I have the latest APK of the Aurora store. I'm gonna open that and it says it is installing it on my device. So I'm gonna disconnect on the website I am going to unplug the device, go into our menu, and we should now have the Aurora Store installed. Perfect. So there we go. We've got the Aurora Store installed and side loaded on here. So how are you doing about the store, disclaimer, etc. And now you can see I have access to whatever application I want on this device, which is exciting, really exciting, in fact. I've searched Beeper, Beeper Universal Chat, install and this is where side loading sort of throws up some questions so you can see it's all i'd argue blacked out there and like the the rendering of it isn't great so by clicking that i've allowed download from those type of apps i'm going to install this app great so i can enter my email here we're going to go into here we're going to go into the aurora store and i'm going to come back out of here and I'm going to search for classic, you can see classic keyboard, that's installing. You can see that it's popped up on my device and obviously we can see that it doesn't render as nicely as the default applications that come with it or the ones that have been optimised by Mutida. But if it's going to work, 
I am not going to complain too much. So let's turn on the keyboard. I would like to keep it as bright one is what I'm going to use. That keyboard is potentially slightly easier to use. I'm using the minimal phone that has a beeper on it to set it up on my Mudita as well. So it takes a bit of time and again while we're here, while we're waiting, let's have a look at this e-ink ghosting. You can see in the background that there is ghosting on this app and that's okay. This is e-ink, we understand that that's going to be the case. So this is a WhatsApp chat I have with myself, so let's just send a test from this. You can see that I use it for comedy admin. I'm sending a test from this. So it says that it's still sending. It says that that should have sent, so let me grab my iPhone and we can see on my iPhone here. So that test did come through. So Beeper and Sideloaded app are working. So I will spend a bit more time picking which apps I want on this and then we can see how it works. So there we have it. We've got some sideloaded apps on here. They're very obvious based on the icons on here. It's exciting. That was relatively easy and relatively pain-free. Remember that it is all done at your own risk, but ease-wise, hopefully following that tutorial is gonna be quite useful. A web ADB site, we're gonna to connect to the Mudita. I'm gonna allow that connection. And then what I'm gonna do is run Head over to Interactive Shell section. The Interactive Shell section allows you to enter queries. And in this instance, we want to look at a list of all of the things that we have installed. So by copying and pasting that in, you can see that I have Beeper installed, Aurora Store installed, and Classic Keyboard installed. So if I wanted to uninstall Beeper, I would enter that command, pm uninstall com.beeper.android. I would click enter and it would remove it from my device. I'm not gonna do that because I currently want Beeper to work, but this is how you uninstall stuff as well. So there we have it. That was the video where we sideloaded apps on the Mudita Compaq device. Now, the process could be a little bit fiddly. I'd argue it wasn't too difficult, but make sure you follow those steps. I do think it's worth reminding you that Mudita don't endorse it, and also it's all done at your own risk. That's important. Remember that it's all done at your own risk. Don't come crying to me with Come on. But other than that, I think the ability to sideload apps on this device is super useful. If we're completely honest, it's pretty damn useful, isn't it? Other than that, please like, please subscribe. It helps me, it helps you, it helps the channel. And I'm off to go and see what else I can sideload on this. Bye-bye.